What's up, people? I'm Zogue, and welcome to the Mod Spotlight for Bobble Stuff, made by Zazpro. Now, there is a link in the description in an effort to keep this short. If you want any extra information, if you have any suggestions, or you want to find, you send any bug reports, head on over to the link to Curse, Curse for curse forge for this mod it is down in the description and also if you want to see anything else that i do ever pretty much <laughs> i got a link to all my stuff down there in the da in, in the description as well including twitter and patreon and all that other good stuff so you guys know how it works so if you want to see anything extra head down to the description if it's not there feel free to leave a comment and i will address it i answer every comment i ever get so we're good to go there now let's go ahead and jump right into this shall we now, the first thing about this mod are some of the extra items that it adds. First of all, you have this guy right here, which is, let me change to non-creative mode, or creative mode, I mean. And that way I can select it. It's called the Book of Spells, and this guy is the portable translator, and this guy is a crafted item called the Stone of Upgrade, which is required for all the up other upgrades that are available for these things. Now, we're going to get to all this stuff, but I believe... You should probably know where these things come from. These guys right here are kill are are dropped, are the rare drops from Pikmin. So you have to get to the nether and you have to kill a bunch of Pikmin in order to get these guys right here. And they are in the crafting recipe for every upgrade available for these baubles items. Now, if you are not aware of what baubles are, this is the little thing right here. You do have to have baubles installed for this mod to function properly. And basically, you click on this guy and you have these slots right here opened up and available. And you have a belt option. Let me go ahead and change back to creative mode again. Belt option, amulet option, and ring option. You can only have one of these rings. If you try to have two of them, they will not work. But the good thing is that you can apply multiple, and you see in red right there, buffs will only work only if you have one ring. Will work only if you have one ring equipped. Now, that does not include these other two rings right here, this guy and this guy, which are basically the same thing, just one is a little bit different than the other as you can see there we're gonna play with them but first you should know that you can have multiple upgrades on each bobbles piece of equipment you see the belt can have high step speed jump and flying the pendant can have fire immune fall damage wither immune water breathing and health regeneration and the ring can have invisibility night vision haste power plant acceleration and stuff repairing now this thing is wickedly cool but Let's go ahead and play a little bit, shall we? So here's all the available upgrades, like you just saw here, they're also here, but you also have speed one and two in this case. You have high step, speed one, two, and three, jump one, two, and three, flying, fire immune, fall damage immune, water breathing, wither immune, invisibility, health regeneration, night vision, haste one, two, and three, power one, two, and three, plant acceleration, and the stuff repairing upgrade. Now, all of this stuff is really, really cool. You kind of understand what it is, but just to demonstrate, we're gonna go ahead and put on all of them onto all three of these that are available. You see down here, for example, we cannot put the flying upgrade on the ring. It has to go on the belt, because it says that is the one that can go there. Do you understand? You cannot put flying on a ring. You cannot put flying on a pendant. It has to go on the belt. In the same way, the high step has to go on the belt, or let's see, the fire immune has to go on the pendant, not on the belt and not on the ring. It's basically, it's, it's like that. It needs to be known. Do not try to put the flying upgrade on a ring and then drop a comment down there saying it doesn't work. No, it does work. You're just not doing it right. It's kind of a thing. Now, anyway. Also, don't go leave a comment on the mod author's page either saying that kind of stuff because he's just going to probably ignore you. But anyway, <laughs> let's just go ahead in here and see about some of this stuff. Let's have a little bit of a play, shall we? Now, first and foremost, before we get into anything else, let's go ahead and check out these recipes. Now, each one of these recipes is a little bit more complicated than you might think. And it should be. I mean, it's a friggin' flying upgrade, right? So yeah, I need another star for this one. I mean, each recipe is just a little bit different. But for the flying upgrade, you need another star. You need a feather. You need a bunch of jump paper and a speed paper. So there you go. Like each one of the upgrades requires its own kind of paper. 
each with its own recipe. And here is where those requirements of where the rare Pikmin drop comes in. Each one has a different recipe. This guy, Book and Quill, Netherwart, Blaze Powder, Sugar, they are easily searchable in the NEI and they're really, or the JEI in the 1.9 case. This is a 1.9 mod. Don't believe I mentioned that in the beginning, but it is a 1.9 mod. And, uh, you can easily find out exactly what recipe it is in there. Now, if you want to know some of the other stuff, you have this stuff right here. And in order to apply upgrades to these guys, you got to put it in a crafting grid, just like so. Now, <laughs> you see I dropped all of them in there. That's a little bit of a thing. Right there, you see speed upgrade works, but you can apply multiple upgrades at one time. You see now high step is up there. Now flying, high step, and speed, all three of those are up there. And now you have all four are also up there. So all you gotta do is take this guy out and bam, it is <laughs> just, it's a super powered belt. Can only dream about, yes, see? It's really, really good stuff. So now we can go ahead and put the pendant up here. We take a look, we have all these things. I'm just gonna go ahead and match these guys. Fire immune is one, right? Fall damage, we gotta find the fall damage. You know, you get it, you get it now? And now that we have all of those guys set up, pretty much as you see them, high step, speed, jump, flying, all of these guys right here, let's go ahead and take a look at the magnet rings, shall we? Now, the first one, let's go ahead and switch to, to uh, survival mode so we can go ahead and put the first ring on. Now, we're going to go ahead and test this guy like we should, put these down here and drop a few, right? So that's pretty much what your items look like when they're on the ground. Let's go ahead and get the regular magnet ring on and see what, oh, there they go. Bam, they're done. They're, they're in the inventory. All right, let's see how big of a range it has. All right, let's go a little bit further back. Like so. We have the magnet ring. Let's just, whoa, whoa, whoa that was weird. Why, whoa, okay, well, that's cool. It just sucked them right up. Look at this. Look, let's do it again. Uh, all the way, 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 way back. Okay, regular magnet ring. Now we might actually be able to see what, there it goes, boop, 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 do you see them? Basically what happens is they actually slide towards you. It's showing a little bit of a glitchy thing, but that's okay. That's, you know, this is another one of those in development mods. It is a 1.9 mod and it is kind of cool. Now we can put on the instantaneous ring and see what happens. Drop a few of these guys on the ground. Now we gotta get way, 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 way back because these rings are wickedly strong, so we gotta, all the way back. We can't even see them anymore. Now watch. And bloop, we have them. They just they just got sucked in from this. Did you did you see that? That was pretty cool, right? All right. So now that we have the the magnet rings out of the way, let's go ahead and check out some of these upgrades. Okay. First of all, we have the belt. We already know that part. Let's go ahead and put a block down so we can test the high step. We've got the speed, so we see how fast we go, and the jump level three. Uh, shift, I mean. Ugh. Nope. Ugh. What? No, that's not right either. All right, let's break it down. Let's break it. We're in survival. We got to break it down normally. What in the world? Okay, hold on. Ugh. There we go. All right. Jump. I don't know if that means we can jump three blocks or not, but we're going to go ahead and take a look. Ready? Bam. Now it's on. We're super quick. Holy crap. Oh, you see that? Woohoo! Holy crap. We can, we can jump over this now. Woohoo! Way, way over it. Also, we can fly. It's pretty amazing. We're like really, really, really fast right now. This is really cool. Also, high step. Doop. We did it. We did it. Look, we climbed up a block. Bloop. It's like it was nothing. It's like it's not even there. We told, look. Yeah. yeah. It's great, isn't it? It's pretty, pretty amazing. Now, if you do not have the flying upgrade on, then we can indeed take fall damage unless we have this pendant on right here. So let's see, we have fire immune, fall damage immune, wither immune, water breathing upgrade, and health regeneration. Now we're not gonna test all these guys, but we will go ahead and test two of them. Let's get some lava, and let's get some uh, flint and steel. Just the fire ones, because these are the ones I, I care about, right? Let's, uh, yep. Yeah, uh, I don't know about you, but usually standing in fire hurts, right? Ow, 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 yep, totally hurts. Not now. Okay, what about lava? Does lava work? Oh, I'm taking a bath. This is a pretty nice little hot tub here, huh? I think it's pretty cool, you know? We're just kind of chilling out a little bit and just kind of let me out of the lava now. All right, that's cool. Just pick it up. So you get the idea. Like, these things work. They're just really, really cool, right? And then you have the health regen and all that other good stuff. Now, this guy right here, invisibility and uh, 
Yeah, I gotta. You gotta love running fast, right? Invisibility, night vision, haste bonus. All right, hold on. Let's test this. Uh huh. Nope, I got it. Okay. Well, I'm super fast. See how fast it was breaking? All right, let's put the ring on. Whoa. Insta break with my hand. Are you kidding me? How cool is that? Right? That's haste level three. We're invisible. That uh, ignore that for now. Okay. We're. We're invisible. You want to know why we're invisible? Because it has an invis invisibility upgrade. Can you... How cool is that? Like, plant acceleration, stuff repairing. This will repair your armor, which we have to figure out how to test this guy. Okay, we are now... We now have this guy. Look at this. Stuff repairing upgrade for the win. It is indeed it repairing it. You see that? That's pretty cool, right? It's repairing the friggin' chest plate. How... That just... Awesome! How awesome is that? You don't have to worry about your armor anymore. Now, <laughs> I know I didn't really go through the recipes too much. You can really find out anything you need to know from the the uh, baubles stuff. There we go. Uh, how about we just do that? All right. You can really find out anything you need to know from here. All you got to do is hit R or click on it, and it will tell you how to make every single one of these guys. You hit R. Okay, you need the jump paper. Follow that one down. You need a book. You need a nether wart. You need a blaze powder. You need a sugar cane. You need these two guys, which I already told you, you get from pigment drops. Then you need the magma cream and the jump upgrade two. Okay, follow that one. You get the idea. If you've played modded for any amount of time, you know exactly how to find recipes, and in my mind, spotlights aren't really the place to go through the recipes, so I kind to skip them a little bit but you do see what the mod is capable of you do see what you get out of the mod and it is pretty amazing look our chest police is already healed up we're we're good we're good also just because i really like hot tubs we're gonna go ahead and say see you later inside of a lava pool so if you did like the episode don't forget episode no if you did like the spotlight don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see more of what i do go ahead feel free check the description click on some links see what happens and go ahead and follow me on twitter help me out on patreon if you want to or if you want to help out the bubble stuff mod author go check zaz pro out on curse verge using the link in the description and he's you know suggestions tips anything you want to toss him bug fixes whatever you want to find out about it that's where you're gonna go that's where you want to go all right but if you did like the spotlight don't forget to hit the like button if you want to see more you want my videos sent directly to you then don't forget to subscribe comment favorite share feeling you want to thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time peace out peeps